Hello everyone, this will be down and dirty and short and sweet. Uh, the single party that I refer to in the title uh, is not the Republicrats or the demo publicans. Uh, I'm afraid it's uh, much worse than that. Uh, the party doesn't have an official name and, and it's really not even officially recognized. Uh, I refer to it as the Mega Transnational Corporatist Party. Mega Transnational Corporatist Party. It has two branches, uh, the so-called Republicans and the so-called Democrats. A and what it amounts to is that uh, basically we have no representative government in this country anymore. We have the illusion of one, uh, but we really have no representation. Uh, I can give you a couple of examples uh, proving that. Uh, there are many, many more, but I want to keep this short. Uh, remember uh, TARP, the Troubled Assets Relief Program that Congress enacted uh, back shortly after the uh, beginning of the 2008 financial crisis? Take a guess as to how many Americans were against Congress enacting that program. Eighty percent did not want TARP. So what did Congress do? Well, of course they enacted it. <laughs> they work for the mega banks. <laughs> Come on. It's fairly obvious. Uh, uh, another thing that you may not know is that uh, um, TARP was a drop in the bucket. Uh, 700 and something billion with a B as in basketball. Uh, the Fed conjured up some money out of thin air like it normally does and made 13.1 trillion dollars with a T, as in Tom, uh, available to the mega banks in loans at essentially 0% interest. They essentially gave them the money. Uh, the uh, actual interest rate was 0.25% interest. Now imagine if the Fed would have divvied up that $13.1 trillion dollars amongst uh, adult Americans on Main Street, uh, heads of households, uh, some, some designation. That would have been a real boon to the economy. But uh, the Fed wanted to save the banks, the mega banks, not, not Main Street. The economy tanked, but the banks were saved. Those banks that were saved that were too big to fail, remember? Well, now they're 38% bigger than they were back then. Uh, another example that we uh, showing that we don't have a representative government. Uh, right now, 50% of adult Americans believe that we should either renegotiate or quit entirely. Uh, NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. Uh, it's almost 20 years now uh, since NAFTA and uh, it's been an unmitigated disaster uh, despite the, insurance, the assurances of the Republicans and Clinton and Gore. Uh, Ross Perot was right. The only thing you'll hear, he said, was that was would be a giant sucking sound of jobs going to Mexico. Uh, he was right. We've lost one million jobs because of NAFTA. Only 15% of adult Americans currently believe that we should uh, remain in NAFTA. Okay. That's it. We have one party, folks. They don't admit it, but it's one party. 
and they're all neoliberals. I don't care whether they call themselves Democrats or Republicans. Learn all you can about neoliberalism. Thanks for watching. Everyone uh, have a good day and uh, take care. See you next time.